sometimes people say we're you know covering at the moment sometimes people will say that we're, we're covering you know Jeremy Corbyn too much you know I think that's slightly unfair I mean we're covering the crisis of the Labour Party because it's got a wider relevance to the crisis of social democracy it's also something that's very um, feels like it's within touching distance of a lot of the existing radical left uh, and it's you know really quite unprecedented uh, but at the same time, you know, we'll still uh, have articles focusing on things like uh, housing issues or articles on the environment. So there is still that plurality and diversity. Uh, obviously, you've just got to look for it. So Navarro Media was founded in uh, late 2013. It was building on um, a radio show broadcast on Resonance 104.4 FM. We decided to schedule and then we stuck to it. Um, and that can't really be underestimated. It's, it's like the number one tip that I'd give to anyone who was thinking about starting uh, a new media outlet. At the moment, the articles in Navarra are mostly commentary. Sometimes we'll have reportage if it's specific things that we think are uh, likely to get um, uh, missed by other outlets. We saw the operation in quite a holistic way in terms of levels of engagement. So, you know, reading a short article or watching a short video is uh, not a very big investment of time. And the idea is that once people have done that a few times, then maybe they'll give a chance to listen to um, a radio show, which is an hour long and much more in depth. The purpose of having articles on Navarra, well, it's been a dual purpose, really. So partly to um, help social movements speak to each other, uh, but also to help radical ideas get disseminated into a wider audience. Now, it's not always easy to do those two things at once, but, you know, it, that's, what we, that's what we aim for. I'm teaching media at the moment and my students are uh, very open-minded when it comes to their, their media outlets and their media sources. And that's partly because of the ways that they're accessing news. And that's really great and encouraging for a blossoming independent media ecology. We do want to, uh, in time and with money, expand the article section to include, you know, greater coverage from around the world. Uh, perhaps investigative journalism or industrial reportage, things of that kind. Our first priority was paying our authors and expenses for people who couldn't otherwise appear on the radio or appear on the, the video programme. But still, the core editorial team, none of us uh, are paid. And that's an issue because, you know, it's not just a case of an article comes in, you copy and paste it, you've got an article being pitched, you give feedback, you get a submission, you maybe do some tweaks, you copy edit it, you fact check, you uh, just check it with a style guide, uh, find the image, do the publicity, and you do that three times a week, and now actually we've raised it to seven times a week. The experience of, of newspapers who are publishing online, and even the experience of some of the bigger new media players such as Vice, demonstrates that no one's really got an answer to the issue of funding new media. It's easy to forget that everything you're reading has been created by people, it's been edited by people, websites been put together by people, and all of this takes time. And, you know, when you think about what so much independent media is trying to do, in the case of Navarro, you know, we would like to see ourselves as being part of building counterpower to win a new world. When you think about who we're going up against, they have vast amounts of money compared to any of the rest of us and uh, that's a really limiting factor.